Gordon, his opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The chairman just said the Trump DOJ was political and went after their opponents. Are you kidding me? Three weeks ago, the National School Board Association writes President Biden asking him to involve the FBI in local school board matters. Five days later, the Attorney General of the United States does just that, does exactly what a political organization asked to be done. Five days. We've sent, Republicans on this committee have sent the Attorney General 13 letters in the last six months. It takes weeks and months to get a response. Eight of the letters, we've got nothing. They just gave us the finger, said, we're not going to get back to you. And all our letters were actually sent to the Attorney General. Here's a letter sent to someone else asking for a specific thing to be done, and in five days, the Attorney General does it. Here's what the October 4th memo said. Quote, I'm directing the FBI to convene meetings with local leaders. These meetings will open dedicated lines of communication for threat reporting. Dedicated lines of communication for threat reporting. A snitch line on parents started five days after a left-wing political organization asked for it. That's not political. I don't know what is. Where's the dedicated lines of communication with local leaders regarding our southern border? Something that, frankly, is a federal matter. Where's the dedicated lines of communication on violent crime in our cities? Violent crime that has went up in every major urban area where Democrats have defunded the police. Nope, can't do that. Can't do that. The Biden Justice Department is going to go after parents who object to some racist hate America curriculum. Nope, can't focus on the southern border where 1.7 million illegal encounters have happened this year alone. A record, a record number. MS-13 can just waltz right across the border, but the Department of Justice, they're going to open up a snitch line on parents. Think about this. The same FBI that Mr. Garland is directing to open dedicated lines of communication for reporting on parents just a few years ago spied on four American citizens associated with President Trump's campaign. Clinton campaign hired Perkins Coie, who hired Fusion GPS, who hired Christopher Steele, who put a bunch of garbage together, gave it to the FBI. They used that as the basis to open up an investigation into a presidential campaign. Oh, and then there was Mr. Zussman. Mr. Zussman, who worked at Perkins Coie, the firm hired by the Clinton campaign, he cut out all the middlemen. He just said, I'm just going to go directly to the FBI, and not just anyone at the FBI. Who'd he go to? Jim Baker, the chief counsel at the FBI, handed him a bunch of false information, told him false information, and of course, he's been indicted by the special counsel. A few weeks ago, the IG at the Department of Justice released a report that found that the FBI made over 200 errors, omissions, and lies in just 29 randomly selected FISA applications. But don't worry, the Attorney General of the United States just put them in charge of a dedicated line of communication to report on parents who attend school board meetings. Mr. Chairman, Americans are afraid. For the first time during my years in public office, first time, I talk to the, the, the good folks I get the privilege of representing in the 4th District of Ohio, folks all around the country, they tell me for the first time they fear their government. And frankly, I think it's obviously why, obvious why. Every single liberty we enjoy under the First Amendment has been assaulted over the last year. Stop and think about it. Americans were told you couldn't go to church, couldn't go to work, couldn't go to school. Small business owners were told you're not an essential business, close your doors, causing many of them to go bankrupt. We were given curfews, stay-at-home orders. Last fall in Ohio, you had to be in your home at 10. In Pennsylvania, when you were in your home, you had to wear a mask. In Vermont, when you were in your home, you didn't have to wear a mask because you weren't allowed to have friends and family over. And of course, there's always a double standard with these folks. Folks who make the rules never seem to follow them. And now the Biden administration says, get a vaccine or lose your job. Even if you've had COVID and have natural immunity, get a vaccine or you will lose your job. Oh, I almost forgot. The Biden administration also wants another dedicated line of communication for reporting. They want a second snitch line. They want banks to report on every single transaction over $600 for every single American to the IRS. The IRS, that agency with its stellar record of customer service, the IRS, you know, the same IRS that targeted conservatives the last time Joe Biden was in the executive branch. Jefferson said once, tyranny is when the people fear the government. 
we're there. Sadly, we are there. But I don't think, I don't think the good people, I don't think the good people of this great country are going to cower and hide. I think your memo, Mr. Attorney General, was the last straw. I think it was the catalyst for a great awakening that is just getting started. Pilots at Southwest Airlines, the Chicago Police Union, parents at school board meetings, Americans are pushing back because Americans value freedom. A few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, Terry McAuliffe said this, I don't think parents should be telling schools what to teach. When government tells parents we're smarter than you, Americans aren't going to tolerate it. When the Attorney General of the United States sets up a snitch line on parents, Americans aren't going to tolerate it. I think they're going to stand up to this accelerated march to communism that we now see. America's going to fight the good fight. They're going to finish the course. They're going to keep the faith because Americans value freedom. Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we have a video we'd like to play.